So we have just had lunch at this beautiful spot and then we're going to... Oops, sorry, that... <laughs> Did that hurt? Uh -huh. Sorry. In the <laughs> oh Friday the 2nd of July and it is about half past seven in the morning. I am wrecked. So yesterday was a very big day. We didn't expect it to be so big. It was another about eight, eight and a half hours of moving time. So by the time we got back, it was fine. We had food and we chatted one of the, with one of the guys was um, in the van next to us, super, super lovely guy who'd cycled all the way to the top like a crazy man. The midges this morning are horrendous i don't know if you guys can see but there's literally swarms yeah feeling pretty wrecked today but lock number five i think so we're almost halfway so let's get it so last night we actually decided to move camp to the next destination for starting the next lock which is today so we actually didn't get to sleep until about 2 a.m got up about five so a few hours of sleep hence why we were so wrecked but we had to just get on with it a new day new lock we have managed to find we think the path that then goes up the valley so we're stashing our bikes here where's that again loch afric yeah. basically just following this stream all the way up and round and yeah hopefully it's going to be a little bit cooler today but, but it seems roasting doesn't it dad it's uh yeah it's too hot very rare that you say that here in scotland but... too hot to handle <laughs> so top tip for this lock is make sure you have a very well detailed map and you kind of know where you're going because we did not to begin with but we managed to find the path that went up this beautiful valley so we have just had lunch at this beautiful spot and then we're going to Sorry, that... <laughs> Did that hurt? Uh -huh. Sorry. I'm in the corner. <laughs> oh no! So we're <laughs> sorry. We're going up there. Hmm. Near me. And then I think we're going to be walking up this ridge somewhere. Don't really know, but like there's snow behind us. Now, interestingly, we had a lot in our rucksacks just to make sure in case something had happened that we were prepared. But this meant having heavy, heavy weight onto us. And every single time we seemed to run out of food. But that's just part of the challenge. Like snow right there. And that's where we came from. All the way down that lock, all the way up here. Whew. Does that not feel a bit scary, Dad? Ooh. Mm. Oh. Woo. Ah. Gorgeous. Imagine coming up here and trying to build that. Whew. Amazing.
What's that stone over there? Yeah. There's a wee lock down over there. There's a wee lock down over there. So as you can see here, we are surrounded by Monroe's. So instead of having to go all the way up a few more to get to the other side, we decided to go straight across a boulder field. Oh my God. Holy moly. How the hell are we gonna get down there? Probably down that bit there, look. It looks cold, there's no sun in it. Looking at the skyline, we've got some snow here and then hills as far as the eye can see. And I wouldn't be surprised if we could see the sea as well. The plan is to go down the path here and round the back of that knoll and then make our way down between the rocks down to that little bit that sticks out to the left and then swim across probably to where the little stream goes in and that'll give us somewhere to aim to go back across It was about here that we realised that we were pretty low on food It was a big thing for us making sure that we did not get injured We were in the middle of nowhere and you have no idea what might happen so we had to make sure that we were keeping our eye on where exactly our feet were going making sure that we have enough energy to then get all the way back. Oh, almost lost my shoe. Finally made it. Uh, six hours to get here. It is stunning. This is a big lock. Can you see where we're going to, Dad? Way over there, is it? Yeah. Over there. It's a bit like a, like a little rock thing. Yeah. Cool. Right, let's get cold. Most of the stuff in our backpack was actually our swimming stuff. Now, let's be real, it would have been amazing just to do this in skins, but safety was really important, especially because we were in the middle of nowhere. Going back, <laughs> things became a little bit more heavy, but for us, it was important. We're going to do a video about all the stuff that we had in the future, but it made a huge difference to us in keeping warm. Fantastic. It's a nice walk, isn't it? It's lovely. It's a bit dark, but the nice white sandy beaches. 430 meters. 
And I thought that you were going to make us come all the way down there. <laughs> I could have done that. Look at the snow up there. That was surprisingly not that cold. I thought it was going to be freezing. No, it's really pleasant. Awesome, Dad. I bet you it's not I mean, that. We're not, we're not there yet, but we're halfway. It's probably not uh, that deep. That's perfect. So, interestingly with this loch, there were actually some huge boulders that we saw. It's kind of hard to capture on camera, but they were massive. They were also warm and cold pockets, as if they were little islands within the loch. Okay, that was it. Right, now the challenge is to get back. So let's just get changed and get up that, up that hill and get all the way back home in less than six hours. Let's see if you can do it. Vlog number five is Dan, what's this called again? Cory Locking. There we go. It's looking a bit ominous now. It might look like it's kind of maybe gonna rain. Hopefully not, because we've got some sketchy stuff we've got to get back on. Um, so fingers crossed, it's gonna be a long, long journey home. But the lock is now done. So, tick. So as you can see here, my hair is still wet. I did not take a towel with me. My hair was just gonna dry naturally on its own. Plus, it was roasting. Especially when you're walking up some of these steep, steep hills. If you have ever done any of these Monroes, you will understand just how steep this is. We are now finally on the way down the other side of the valley, this beautiful valley. The time now is seven o'clock in the evening, so we're not racing, taking it easy, making sure we don't hurt ourselves or hurt our ankles or anything, but it's just so beautiful. How are you feeling, Dad? Great. Great. <laughs> oh, just look at it, it's beautiful, isn't it? Woohoo! We have arrived back at the bikes just over 10 hours from starting. We're just gonna grab a tiny bit of food and we're done, then gonna head back to the van. Not gonna video it because we're super tired and we just wanna get back. So we'll see you guys when we get back to the van. Let's go. And we have made it back to the van. Whew, the time now is, what time is it, Dad? It's nine o'clock, so we've been out for 11 hours because we left it bang on 10. Um, so good effort, Dad. So we're just going to grab some food in the van and pack everything up and then we'll take it from there. So let's eat food. <laughs> <laughs> so on reflection, it became very clear that today was the hardest day so far and we were absolutely shattered. But... Could not wait for tomorrow and another adventure. So food is eaten. We've packed all of the bikes away into the van and now we are heading off to the next destination. Next destination. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> next destination for lock number six tomorrow. We are officially halfway through. Woohoo! The challenge. Um, so yeah, let's try and figure out where we're going to be camping tonight. Let's go for it. 